Do, 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 do. Okay, guys, what's up? Venom Shock here again with part four of Pokemon Emerald walkthrough. Yes, walkthrough. Um, so last episode we just finished off by defeating Roxanne, and um, yes, I remember Roxanne. Where, where, where am I going? Oh. <laughs> anyway, so as you can see, we have the Stone Badge. So that is an amazing accomplishment. And I am so proud of myself, but let's just go heal up right here before we continue on with the story. Because right now, it's just, it's going to start cooking. Not really, but, you know, oh, I actually pressed B. Oh my goodness. Anyway, so how are you guys today? I'm doing pretty good. This is actually my second video. I actually recorded um, episode three earlier. I rendered it, converted it. And put it onto YouTube already. And now I'm just gonna do this one so I can render it overnight and upload it this morning or this morning, tomorrow morning. So that's my plan. Cause you know, I don't know how much time after that. And I think if you go up here, talk to this girl. And I'm pretty sure she won't give me anything. <laughs> oh my god, I'm an idiot. Uh, although I do know there's a super potion rate up here. I think I, I remember this. And yeah, there's a super potion. Um, yeah, you can't go out and face those guys just yet. You will be you will be able to do in the future. But that's a little while away. You get that item right there. So don't be like, why can't I grab that item? Ah! But don't worry about that. Although, th look at this. This thing looks like literally a stair. Like... It looks like I'm able just to like hop up on there, grab that item, but apparently, apparently you are unable to. <laughs> apparently, um, so here's Devin. So let's just go continue on the story. Oh, it's you! You're the fantastic trainer who helped me in the Petalburg Woods. Yes, I am. Help me! I was robbed by Team Aqua. I have to go get the Devin goods back. So if I don't, I'm gonna be in the serious trouble. So you know. That shady character from Team Aqua, he, he's the one who took Devin's goods. Although that's kind of weird, Devin's goods and... Actually, that guy's not... Actually, is that Devin? I don't even know. Maybe his name's just... I don't, I don't even know. I'm, I'm kind of really confused now. Anyways, here's Youngster Joey. He would like the battle, as that's what it says in the, <laughs> in the title. But anyways, we got our Meryl, so he, he should be frayed. Because we got Water Gun too, although it does not do much, it's it is still not bad. And he's gonna use Leer on me, which really, really man, you're cool. Because I'm just gonna keep on using Low Kick. Low, low Kick's not the best move to use. Low Kick is a move where the heavier the Pokemon is, the more damage it will do. I don't know. Maybe that's more of a strategy move, but I wouldn't. I would never teach any of my Pokemon that. Unless it was the only fighting type move it learned. But anyways, we took it out. And now we are level 12, so that's good. 169 lol. Now we're level 12. Um, so Meryl's got... Meryl has better defense than it does attack, but... I don't know. You'll see. it. His special attack, I think, in attack goes up a little more. As it evolves into... I forget what it's called, but whatever. Um, if you come down here, there's item... But I think it's a repel. Is it? Oh, okay. That might be a little bit glitched out because I accidentally pressed stop recording. But anyways, so then we got the re this repel. I think or it is. Yes, this is, it is a repel. And we got a bug trainer right here, which I think I will skip out because bug catchers are usually a little more boring to face. So let's put Toby in front. And also, I think I kind of messed up on a file, so I'll be right back. Okay, guys, so I'm back uh, again, <laughs> and I just realized what uh, what Shroomish's special ability is, and it's actually really cool. So what his special ability is called, it's called Stunt or Effect Spore, and when somebody uses a physical attack on you, um, it chooses out of like a, any random like status effect, which is paralyzed, paral Paralysis, Poisoned, and Sleep, so... It chooses one of those random ones like in that last battle I was facing an Ninkata or an Insada, whatever the hell you want to call it. And um and so what happened is that it's first of all it got it fell asleep. And then after it woke up it used scratch again on me and then it got poisoned. So that's really cool. 
And I'll probably keep this one on because I forgot what she keep this battle on. Show you this guy with this cool battle. I don't know what she has. And she is, looks really young. And which makes me want to think about it. How would she get a Pokemon if she's only like a little kid? I don't know. Am I a little kid? I think I'm 10. Am I? Thinking the new Pokemon games, they're like. I don't even know. They're like 13 or something. But I don't even think. Does that even work on me? Why would I even try doing that? Idiot. Oh, what? For some reason, I thought I couldn't get paralyzed. Weird. That's kind of annoying. Um, but anyways, let's just keep chugging along here. It's annoying, too, because... Okay, you go ahead and use Absorb. You see how that works. Yeah. But it's also kind of annoying, because... Um, I don't have anything to counterattack grass. Um... I don't know, guys. If you want, if you like a Pokemon on this game and you want to recommend it to me, like I'll probably use it. Like maybe, for example, maybe Fire or uh, Fire or Flying, because I already have my Water and Grass. So maybe try like another type. Um, comment in below, and I'll probably use that Pokemon. I'll use I'll use recommendations for sure. Because I'm still not really sure which what I want to use. So we're level twelve. Everybody's up to par with each other I like yeah and you'll find when I play Pokemon I like all my Pokemon to be like the same level maybe one Pokemon will be a little bit higher which will probably be my favorite one but well my one that I think is a bigger beast than everybody else but um let's switch mail because I think there's a rock climber up here or something or mountain climber whatever you want to call it now heal to over here okay oh this is sketchy this is sketchy Mmm, yeah. Oh, we got a double battle, so kill. And just for a heads up, lots of people don't know this, but if you try sprinting past somebody, they will no matter what fight you. And if you wanna if you're a person who likes to avoid battles when you play Pokemon, don't sprint. Try, just try walking and you'll avoid them. Just a tip, because um yeah, you'll you'll find that that, that is what happens. But anyways, we're facing a Shroomish and um, a Geodude, so this won't be too hard. Let's just a Tackle and Shroomish. And we'll Water Gun Geodude, which will be one hit KO. And I don't know who has two Pokemon in this battle. Probably the Hitchhiker or whatever you want to call him. Um, anyways. Okay, that's good that you didn't use Absorb. Do -do -do. Oh, okay, so the other guy, the kid, has two Pokemon. And the Hitchhiker only has one Geodude. That's weird. That's the first time I've seen a Hitchhiker with only... With not a full team of Geodudes. <laughs> Anyways, let's keep on using the double tackle strategy. And you will live with one... With one hit point. You little lucky bastard. And well, no way. I actually just put Siri on my phone. Come here. So if you heard that, I'm sorry. <laughs> put that over there. Um... Oh, you, you freaking jerk. Why do you, why do you like, why do you like paralyzing me? Oh my god. That was weird. I didn't actually mean to do that in the first place, but then my voice got so high pitched. I just, I just went along with it. <laughs> so, I'm sorry if I sound, if I sounded really weird. Um, but let's just keep on using tackle and, um, take this guy out. Yeah, and I'm just wondering what to use for flying type. Maybe like somewhere along the lines of uh, what's that bird flying? I forget what it's called. I don't even remember. It's a bird. No, sorry, bird dragon, flying bird, flying dragon. There you go. I whenever you also hear, you'll probably hear me talking, and I'll say, and I'll say bird type instead of flying type, and like a lot of things like that. Really weird fish type. I don't even know. A lot of weird things come to my mouth, <laughs> out of my mouth. Um, and don't think, don't think as I as a dirty term. You freaking get your mind out of the gutter. Anyways, let's just finish off this little tad because it's kind of making me mad. This battle's taking way longer than it should. Um, and now I think I'm gonna have to go heal because I don't want a paralyzed Meryl. And hopefully, we love one of us level up. Yeah, Toby, you're my favorite. Not really. 
when you're gonna learn any good moves. Anyways, we finished those guys. Um, gasp, gasp. You made me tired. Not really. Your Pokemon's doing all the work, so I don't really know why you're tired. You weird guy. Uh, anyways, we got another hitchhiker. Looks uh, like so. Let's um, let's put Poophead in front of here. Deadly. Yeah. And I was just thinking about it. Maybe a Winkle. Uh, a Winkle. A Wingle. I've used it before in, in past uh, walkthroughs or not walkthroughs, but past times I played, and it's a good Pokemon, and I would use it. But I already have two Pokemon on my team, and if we face like electrical. Like I say electrical too. Electric type badge or gym, which there is, which is the third gym, we're gonna kinda be screwed. So let's stay away from that. And uh so yeah, Poophead got to level thirteen and he's almost gonna evolve into a um, Poophead Marsh Stomp, so I can't wait to that day. And he's got another Geodude, no surprise, you weird hitchhiker fellow. Um so let's use a water gun. And let's just take it out, cause you know that's that's how good we are. That's how great we are at this game. And we defeated Devin with Devin Goods. Are you the one who took Devin's good? <laughs> ay ay ay! That's that's what I imagine him saying, cause he does not look like he'd be one to say that. But anyways, um, let's talk to this guy. Ian Pico. So, what she's saying is that there's a guy in there, and he took Pico. And, um, let's get this out of An X-Special. I would not recommend using special attacks. And this rock looks kind of suspicious. Oh, never mind. Um, yeah, sometimes when we see rocks like that, there will be items inside of them. And there's a Pokeball. Cool. So, let's face this. Uh, oh, I will get you then. You, oh my God! You are so rude. So yeah, I want to battle you, man. You are so cool. You know you're cool when you're on Team Aqua. That's why I'm gonna join. And Team Aqua has the same old Puchiana, but he he leveled up a little bit. Anyways, we're gonna face you again with my poop head. Um, with my poop head. <laughs> yeah. And you you're not gonna send a chance, sorry, man. Unless you use sand attack, of course. Of course you have sand attack. Still, so what am I thinking? Um, and of course I miss, like, jeez. Oh, and of course you use sand attack again. I hope I hit this time so I can just get you done with. Oh, of course, like, come on, man. Come on. And you're gonna use how? Good for you. Make your attack go up, because you don't stand a chance against me. Of course when I miss, like, come on, man. You, you are so rude. You're so rude right now. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, you, you bastard. Oh, you jerk. You jerk, you were putting this on me and I don't want this. I don't want this. Yes. Thank God. There you go. Screw you, man. Like, that's so annoying. Uh, anyway, so I got up to level 14, so I'm climbing up there pretty quickly. Almost going to evolve into a marsh stump. And we defeated the Aqua Grant, so that's not very hard, guys. You shouldn't have a problem with that. And I also received two hundred twenty dollars. So, on the bright side, this is not playing right. The boss told me he would make me a slick and easy job. Told me this would be a slick and easy job to pull, assuming pull off. All I had to do is steal some packages from Devin. Tick, you want it back? That badly. Take it, and then you get the Devin goods. And that's all she wrote. And then the old guy will be like, Pico and rudely shove you aside. I always thought when I played that, I'd be like, you should be thanking me like right off the bat instead of throwing me off the side. I don't like, jeez, man. And this guy will play an important role in the game too. His name is Mr. Br His name is Briny. And he will be like a taxi to you pretty much. And he will, <laughs> he will do anything you you want because he's kind of your slave and anyways i'm gonna end up this walkthrough right here this oldest oh, part um, so stay tuned guys this has been episode four to my pokemon emerald walkthrough stay tuned for more subscribe and like so see you guys later